has offered to help the government in achieving the goals of the administration. And former governor of River State, Yesam Wike, led the G5 governors to meet President Bola Tinubu at the presidential villa. Governor of Enugu State was also in the villa to plead with President Tinubu for the release of Inam Bekano, that's the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. The presidential villa welcomed more visitors. This time, governors in need of the federal government's support to deliver on some of the promises they made during campaigns. The governors of Plateau and Akwaibom states, who are still new in the saddle, were some of the early callers to meet President Tinubu. The governor of Akwaibom state disclosed the specific demands he made regarding the development of his state. Yes, we talked about the road you have just mentioned, the Calabai 2 road. We will need the president to help us intervene and let's get that finish the road. We talked about our Ibom deep sea port. We will need the president to also intervene and let's get the sea port. We also, I also mentioned to him uh, the export uh, license, uh, the free zone for uh, our airports. When the governor of Enugu State got an audience with Mr. President, top of his demands was the release of Unam de Kanu, leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. He says this is a collective request from the southeast region. We basically identified with that and request Mr. President, who in his inaugural address promised the people that he's going to engender national healing and is going to serve with compassion. So we've basically informed him that this would serve as a pointer to his administration's uh, extension of hands of fellowship to Ndibu. And then came the famous PDP G5 governors. This is the first time they will meet President Tinubu after the election. The governors, led by former River State Governor Yesom Wike, withdrew their support for the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. And President Tinubu leveraged on that to win majority votes in the keenly contested presidential election. But Governor Sheyi Makinde says their visit to President Tinubu is purely for the purpose of nation building. Uh, the G5. Uh, the integrity group, you know, uh, uh, we also came to let the president know what we stood for, fairness, justice, and equity, and we have the chance. These meetings with governors and other political stakeholders transcends all political divides as President Tinubu's government continues to chart its own course in governance. Femi Akonde.